I am a broadsheet. I am a tabloid. I'm big, serious and authoritative, intellectual and analytical. Some people will call me a quality newspaper. I'm more popular than you. I'm entertaining and engaging. I've got a selective readership of about 200,000 people every day. The better sort of people, one might say. Pah, that's nothing. Two or three million people pick me up every day. My articles are more lengthy than yours. They're important and informative. My articles are fun and easy to read, especially on the bus and the train. Plus, we've got lots of pictures. Exactly my point. You wouldn't want to quote something so lightweight in a reference list or bibliography. At least I'm understandable. Although I'm popular, there's a lot of truth in what I say. Otherwise, I'd be sued, wouldn't I? That's true, but my writers are often experts in their field, and there are specific sections on business and the law. Wait a minute, John Pilger was one of the greatest journalists of the last century. He wrote in the Daily Express and the Guardian, so there. But people might think you're politically biased. After the 1992 election, it was declared to be the Sun what won it. You lot are no different. Who owns the Sun and the Times? It's Rupert Murdoch, isn't it? By the way, have you noticed that our shapes changed a lot lately? Since 2004, a lot of broadsheets have adopted a smaller format, without any loss of quantity, of course. Perhaps they want to read you on the train as well. I'm afraid there are less people reading both of us on the train. My circulation figures have been falling for a good few years now. Mine too. I reckon people want to read newspapers on the internet.